हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एनसीईआरटी सॉल्यूशंस क्लास 11 फिजिक्स चैप्टर नंबर 3 मोशन इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 ए बॉल इज ड्रॉप्ड फ्रॉम ए हाइट ऑफ 90 मीटर ऑन ए फ्लोर एट ईच कोलिजन विद द फ्लो द बॉल लॉसेस 1 टेंथ ऑफ इट्स स्पीड प्लॉट द स्पीड टाइम ग्राफ ऑफ इट्स मोशन बिटवीन t 0 टू t 12 सेकंड here given that a ball is drawn suppose here this ball is drawn means initial speed is 0 at point A this u is equal to 0 at a height of 90 meter this height is equal to 90 meter 90 meter here this point B now motion from A to B motion from A to B first of all calculate the time taken by the body from A to B time calculate karte A to B jane ke liye so this is from second equation second equation of motion h is equal to ut plus half gt square here this h is given 90 u is equal to 0 plus half into g g is suppose 10 and this t square on solving this t is equal to a square root of 90 upon 90 upon this 5 and this is on solving this 4.24 seconds this is the time taken by the ball from A to B now calculate the speed the speed of the ball with which the ball is struck with the ground we have B point per velocity theory. now from from third equation of motion this B square minus U square is equal to 2 the edge on putting values this uh, v square u is 0 here is equal to this 2 into g is 10 h is 90 therefore this v is equal to 30 root 2 meter per second now rebound velocity rebound velocity Point B पर स्ट्राइक करने के बाद बॉडी हमारी बॉल हमारी बाउंड होती है एंड दिस इज सपोज दिस इज सपोज हियर स्पीड u डैश एंड दिस u डैश इज इक्वल टू u डैश इज इक्वल टू दिस v 1 upon 10 ऑफ v बिकॉज़ क्वेश्चन में हमें गिवन है कि 1 10th इसकी स्पीड हमारी लॉस होती है तो दिस इज 1 10th ऑफ v and this is equal to 9 upon v 9 upon 10 into v or this is equal to 9 upon 10 into this is 30 root this is 30 root 2 on solving this u dash is equal to 27 root 2 this is the velocity with which the ball rebound this velocity ke saath ye ball b point par मतलब आफ्टर स्टैकिंग विद द फ्लोर रिबाउंड होती है 27 रूट 2 मीटर पर सेकंड राइट नाउ फ्रॉम मोशन बी टू सी अब ये बॉडी हमारी बी टू सी मूव करती है देयरफॉर दिस इज द हाईएस्ट पॉइंट ड्यूरिंग दिस हियर तो फॉर मोशन मोशन फ्रॉम for motion from B to C B to C this uh, V dash V dash is here final velocity which is equal to 0 V dash and this is V dash is equal to U dash plus G into T dash on putting values this V dash is 0 0 and U dash is equal to 27 27 this 27 root 2 minus 
tan into t dash therefore on solving this t dash is equal to t dash is equal to this is 2.7 2.7 root 2 or this is equal to 3.81 second this is the time taken by the ball to reach from b to c right now time taken now time taken time taken by ball ball from c to d is equal to this is 3.81 second here this is c to d this d point is here the time of ascent is equal to time of descent so here see how the delay time is also 3.81 second 3.81 second right now and the velocity velocity at point at point d before before is striking is striking the floor is equal to this is 27 27 root 2 meter per second velocity 27 root 2 meter per second here this u dash u dash is equal to 27 root 2 meter per second and body moves from b to c here this final velocity is 0 and then from c to d therefore the speed before striking the floor the velocity of the ball is again 27 root 2 meter per second right and velocity velocity at point d point d after after striking after stacking the floor is equal to this is 9 upon 10 9 upon 10 because 1 upon 10 reduces the speed after stacking so this is 9 upon 10 of 27 root v root 2 27 root 2 and this is equal to on solving 24.3 root 2 meter per second now the total time total time total time is it total time elapsed elapsed before before second second rebound second rebound is equal to this is 4.24 4.24 second this is the time from A to B plus the time from B to C. This is 3.81 plus time. This C to D is also 3.81 and this is equal to this is equal to 11.86 second. 86 second. This is the total time. Now graph between speed and time here this x axis and y axis this here time x is here now time is in second and on y axis this is speed meter per second at highest point when the body is draw the speed is zero at t is equal to 0 but after time after time 4.2 second 4.24 second 4.24 second this is the time 4.24 second the speed of the body is 30 root 2 this is here 30 root 2 meter per second therefore 
this point is here and join this point to origin right now this is the speed 30 root 2 at the time of 4.24 second at the stacking with the ground now the speed of the body reduces and it becomes it becomes at the same time how much this is 27 27 root 2 27 root 2 meter per second after stacking the ground at the same time this speed is 27 root 2 at time 4.24 second and then the ball goes up and hence the speed will decrease and it becomes zero it becomes zero at a time of 8.05 second and then and then velocity increases when ball moves downward and becomes equal to 27 root 2 right and this is the time of stacking 27 root 2 and then after stacking the velocity of the ball reduces by 1 upon 10 and this velocity becomes this velocity becomes equal to 24 24.3 meter uh, root 2 meter per second right and this is the time here how much this is 11.86 this time is here 11.86 second and then then body rebound here therefore velocity decreases right so this is the graph